Do you ever feel like you're a little ship being tossed on a sea? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. At this time, I have a lot of things happening in my life. They're keeping me busy, busy, busy. And it's not that everything is bad, because most of it is good, but it's loud. And it's hard to feel like I can really rest knowing that I've got 500 other things to do. And sometimes I've been on the edge of my rope so much that I've even snapped at family and friends, and I just need everything to calm down. I feel like I'm being tossed on a stormy sea, just like in today's Devo. And if you do too, stick around with me. Our Devo is called Calming the Waves by Emily Acker. My life lately has been more like a ship tossed around on a stormy sea than a little canoe making its way across a peaceful pond. Relationship issues have come up and I have dealt with loss. As much as I want peace, it is hard to find. Nothing has come easy for me. I identify with the merchants mentioned in Psalm 107. Out on the sea, they experienced waves and scary conditions. The waves took them up high and then dropped them down low. They moved around without knowing what to do, trying to figure out a way through the storm, trying to make it on their own. They could not figure out a way to travel safely. Then, they did something that I have been doing a lot of lately. They cried out to God. The noisy storm was stilled. Everything calmed down. God was right there with the merchants, with all who were on the ship and afraid. Can God do the same for us? When I have reached out to him in the storms of life that I have faced, I have definitely felt his peace. I have found him waiting to move into action. I have found that I am never alone. We are never alone. So let's talk about this a little bit more together. What kinds of storms have you been facing lately? When we are afraid and life is chaotic, God is right there with us. He doesn't expect us to figure things out by ourselves. He alone has the power to calm the storms. And he loves us so much that Jesus, God in flesh, died and rose again to make the way to be with us. Once we've put our trust in Jesus, we can know that he is always by our side. By defeating sin and death and the devil, he has already saved us from the storm of being lost forever. So now the storms of life, as bad as they are, pale in comparison. As Christians, we can be sure that Jesus is always moving into action on our behalf, whether it be in the storms of our unbelief and sin or the storms of other areas in our lives. And one day he will return to calm every storm and get rid of all fear and chaos for good. Jesus is always with us through his Holy Spirit, his word, the Bible, and his people, the church, giving us peace even in the midst of the storm. Can you think of a time you've felt God's peace and presence in the midst of a storm? If so, what was it like? Consider taking a moment to ask God to help you know His peace and presence. He delights in answering these prayers. As you and I can read in Psalm 127, verse 29, He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. Now, I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, Psalm 107, verse 1 and 23 through 32, and Matthew 8, 23 through 27, to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Did you know our summer reading program is starting today? Head over to unlock.org slash summer to check it out. Also, be sure to check out tomorrow's devotional about friends with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.